Why hello Jacob here. And today I have a new pickup to share with you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. So yeah, this particular bad boy comes to us from eBay. And uh well it is an NHL jersey comes to us from the Central Division and uh, well is an upgrade to a jersey that I already have that is right ladies and gentlemen it is an NHL jersey from the Central Division and is an upgrade to a jersey that I already have and uh, yeah so I think without further ado, a drum roll, please. Three, two, one. Boom. It is a St. Louis Blues Reebok Edge 1.0 with tags still attached. See? Still has tags attached. Of... Chris Stewart, sort of a journeyman player that spent his time with St. Louis and Minnesota, ironically enough, among other teams. And yeah, the reason why I say this is an upgrade or an updated version is because, well, about Christmas of either 2020 or 2021, I want to say 2021, I found off of thriftheavenvintage.com a, well, Reebok premiere of Chris Stewart that had his signature on the two. And no, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not necessarily, you know, a Chris Stewart fanboy per se. I just so happened to find this particular Blues 1.0 on eBay for like 85 bucks. I think after all was said and done, it was about 90 bucks shipped. And, uh, well, I figured I'd go ahead and grab it since Reebok Edge 1.0 jerseys are kind of difficult to find. Especially because of how, you know, little they were made and how, uh, <laughs> I guess, revered they were, for lack of a better term. Anyway, let's just say it wasn't too long after that they went to the 2.0, which a lot of people liked a lot better. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and kind of break down some of the details. So yeah, as I mentioned, this is a Reebok Edge 1.0 in a size 54, and it still has original tagging. So this particular person, or at least somebody, got this from, I believe, the pro shop for about 125 bucks as part of a final sale. And as you know, tagging. And then it has the blue note right here in the white and gold trim with the Reebok 1.0 piping. And yes, this is a 1.0 because it has like that uh, hoodie sweatshirt like feeling which the Reebok Edge 1.0 jerseys had. But a lot of people, like a lot of the players and stuff like that, were complaining because of all the sweat that pulled up. And then they went back into more of a knit sort of uh, polyester style of uh, jersey for the 2.0 that breathed a lot better. And that's basically what they used ever since. But yeah, this is an Edge 1.0 with the different stripes and uh, sleeve striping. Also has tags still attached. And then on the back, the Vector, Stewart, which is actually heat applied on here. So I wonder if maybe, uh, like, they went to the pro shop and they just, you know, retail lead just heat applied it on. Because I know some of these jerseys, like, I don't know how true this is, but I know some of the teams, they would heat apply, like, the name and number and stuff on them. Or at least the name. And then the number... On the back here, as you can see, is triple stitched. See, triple stitched with the fight strap. And, uh, yeah. 
like I say, not too bad for about 80, 85 bucks. So yeah, that it will probably do it for this particular video. So like I say, this is a St. Louis Blues, Chris Stewart Reebok Edge 1.0. And again, got for about $80 to $85. So overall, a solid, solid pickup that'll definitely add to my uh, collection. Granted, I will probably have to do a little bit of cleaning on this thing and maybe a little bit of touching up because the thing came to me in not the greatest shape. I mean, it literally was shipped into cardboard stuffed into the uh, mailer plastic and stuff like that. So, but all in all though, I don't see really a lot wrong with the jersey. I mean, especially considering this is a pretty old jersey as it is. But, uh, yeah. Also, stay tuned because I should be getting my Anaheim Ducks Fanatics jersey in either today or tomorrow. So, stay tuned for that video. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll pretty much wrap this up. So, until we meet again, this is Jacob. Have a good one.